Good morning, friends. This is Pastor Jenny with The Daily Word. We are starting off the second week in our Summer of Psalms series, and our theme for this week is creation. We're looking at a number of psalms uh, that revolve around the theme of creation. And so today I'm going to start us off uh, by reading the first few verses of Psalm 19. So hear these words. The heavens declare the glory of God. The skies proclaim the work of his hands. Day after day they pour forth speech. Night after night they reveal knowledge. They have no speech, they use no words. No sound is heard from them. Yet their voice goes out into all the earth. Their words to the ends of the world. The psalmist goes on to describe the sun and the rising and setting of the sun in a really poetic way and kind of personifying the sun and then goes into talking about God's laws, God's commandments, uh, these ways that we know God um, and learn uh, what kind of life God desires for us and how these things are also pure and good and give light to us, shed light on our path. And the psalm ends with verse 14, words that are familiar to many of us. Many people use these to pray before they preach. May the words of my mouth and this meditation of my heart be pleasing in your sight, Lord, my rock and my redeemer. I love the way that this creation psalm takes uh, the beauty of the natural world and lays it next to the revealed word of God, which for us is the Bible, um, lays them next to each other and says, these are both ways that we come to know who God is, that we come to know the glory of God, the character of God, uh, what brings God delight, what God desires for us. This is actually a, a thing that is steeped in our Methodist history, in our Wesleyan heritage. We believe that scripture is uh, the primary means by which we know God, but that there are other ways as well. If you went through confirmation in the Methodist church, you learned about something called the, the quadrilateral, which talks about scripture, tradition, reason, and experience. And here in the Psalm, we have scripture, you know, we have the laws, uh, the ordinances of God, but we also have creation, which I think there are so many of us who uh, can go in our minds to experiences that we have had in the natural world where we have been overwhelmed, where we have been overcome with the glory of God, where we've suddenly come to understand God in a new way simply through our recognition of the beauty of the created order and our part in it. We come to see God as creator and as orderer of chaos. And I love especially the way the psalmist talks about the skies and the stars and the heavens saying, that day after day and night after night, they are pouring forth knowledge. They are pouring forth speech. Although they don't have any words or any sound, their voice goes out to all the earth. That the heavens, the planets, the stars, the sky, the clouds, simply by being what they were created to be, simply by fulfilling their role in the created world, they are singing the praises of God. The words are not necessary. I think there's a lesson in there today for us as humans who rely so much on our words, and we can sometimes, you all know me, you know I love words, but they can sometimes trip us up. And so I wonder what it would mean for us today to consider the ways that we, as part of creation, are also called to glorify God, not just through you know, our words, not just through our knowledge of, of scripture or of theology, not just through our understanding, but just simply through our being, through our being as well, who and what God has created and called us to be. That's what I'll leave you with today, friends. Thanks so much for starting your week off with us.